Hi, all of you awesome scuba divers out there. Welcome to Scuba Diving Magazine, your very favorite place for the latest scuba diving news and gear reviews. This is Ask Mark, a scuba diving Q&A. Why Mark, a former scuba diving instructor, do my very best to answer your scuba diving questions. Uh, so if you do have any scuba diving questions, any queries, quandaries, whatever it is, by all means, pop it down in the comment section underneath this video. There are no silly questions. Uh, if you use the Ask Mark hashtag in your comment or your query, uh, it gets featured in up and coming video and I do type out an answer in the meantime so you do actually get an answer as sooner rather than later um, and the community as well does a great job of answering questions down in the comments uh, so well done everybody for that. Today I'm answering a question from Jason about buoyancy control. So Jason says, ask Mark, uh, buoyancy control, dry suit or BCD, which to use as recently passed my dry suit speciality and reading so many different opinions on this topic. Would love to hear your take on this subject. Uh, love the channel, by the way. Thank you. Um, so do you use your, your BCD or your dry suit for buoyancy? It's an age old question. And yeah, you probably will see a few different uh, opinions online personally. BCD on the surface, dry suit underwater. Um, it's, it works for me, it's what I was taught, it's what I used to teach, and it, it kind of makes sense in, in my mind. The, the main reason for that is if you're putting air into your dry suit, the air is the insulating layer. It is helping to keep you warm. If you put that gas in your BCD, it's not keeping you warm, it's keeping you like neutrally buoyant uh, or positively buoyant, um, but it is in no way keeping you warm. There is an argument for BCD bladder design is designed to keep you in that trim position. So if you have gas in the wing, then it's more likely to hold you in that horizontal trim position. Whereas in your, um, your dry suit, it's just kind of doing its thing and finding the highest point. I do kind of see that argument. However, I've never found it that much of an issue. Um, the, the main benefit of putting it in your dry suit, one, yes, you get that added um, insulation. Two, you also have usually a, an automatic vent. So when I'm ascending towards the end of the dive, I don't have to like, lose a hand and think about, oh, I need to adjust my buoyancy. I need to dump some gas out of my BCD. Uh, at, at worst, I just need to uh, kind of shrug my left shoulder. Um, so it's, it's automatic. It, it frees up an extra hand if I need it for whatever reason. And it just makes it a lot more convenient. Um, doing both, if you uh, inflate your BCD and your dry suit at depth, uh, then yeah, you just got two things to think about. Granted, one of them, again, the dry suit is automatic. Uh, so that will vent as you lift your arm up, um, but it is not that much of an issue. And you're gonna be inflating your dry suit anyway to relieve that squeeze. So no, I mean, I was, yeah, I, I think on every like training agency that I was taught, it's, yeah, inflate with your, your dry suit to, uh, to control your buoyancy whilst you're in the water. As soon as you hit the surface, psh, inflate that BCD. Uh, the BCD holds you on the surface. Um, unless you're severely like overweighted, you've got a lot of extra equipment and stuff that's making you really negatively buoyant. Uh, I don't think that much of my BCD whilst I'm in the water um, when I'm wearing a dry suit. It's um, <laughs> No, I te only tend to use it when I'm on the surface. So at the beginning of the dive, BCD inflated, dry suit is deflated as much as possible, and my uh, my shoulder dump is as open as possible. Giant stride or enter the water, however it is. I get vacuum sealed into my suit. I usually then close the um, uh, the dump valve and then reopen it. Um, I've never actually thought about how much it is, but it's usually a full rotation, which is probably about halfway. It works for me. And then start the dive, deflate your BCD. Again, you get further vacuum sealed into your dry suit. Um, just relieve that squeeze. And then as you're like descending, just keep adding little uh, sort of puffs of gas until you've got that controlled descent. And then you have further, um, further adjustments with your, uh, with your dry suit. As you're coming back up, 
it vents out of my shoulder. And then as I'm reaching the surface, I usually have hold of my inflator uh, just so that I'm there ready. And then you reach the surface, psh, fully inflate or mostly inflate so that I can get positive buoyancy. Um, and then I get out, I usually inflate my dry suit because it just feels nice. Um, and, uh, and that's it. So yeah, I personally use my BCD on the surface, uh, but everything underwater is done with my dry suit. Yeah, as you say, a few people do uh, do it other ways. And as long as it works for you, great. That is the right way to do it. With so many things with scuba diving, there's no like right and wrong way. Uh, it is just, if it works for you and your team, great, run with that. Um, it's, uh, it, yeah, as long as it works. Uh, there are so many different ways of doing it that attain the same goal, personally. BCD on the surface, dry suit underwater, uh, that, that works for me. Um, but if you find it uh, the other way works for you, great. Um, that's the, the benefit of uh, like auto shoulder dumps. You don't really have to worry too much about it. But what you don't want to get is in that like runaway ascent where you have to vent from both. But for whatever reason, your auto dump is failing uh, and you can't dump that. So you then have to use both hands to one, adjust your, uh, your BCD to uh, thump on that valve uh, it is just, you, you wanna try and minimize it as much as possible. So, so one or the other, um, and um, just makes your dive a lot more streamlined. Any other questions, uh, by all means, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Use this AskMark hashtag to, uh, to get an answer sooner rather than later. Otherwise, remember to head over to our website, scubadivemag.com. Also check out the Go Diving Show. It's on the first weekend of March this year in Coventry. Uh, tickets are available now. Lots of interesting things to, uh, to see, big manufacturers uh, and lots of talks as well, which are always very cool. Uh, I'll be there as well. So yeah, sign up, um, get yourself some, uh, some tickets. And um, yeah, otherwise, thank you for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving.